State Street investment sir? Uh, State Street. That I don't know. We need to make it premises. Eventually, Monsanto and, and, or, or Fidelity and Vanguard and State Street, they're not going to want to be invested in Monsanto anymore because so many people are going to be dumping them because they don't want to be invested in Monsanto. People should digest a Monsanto stock. Unfortunately, you have a situation where pension funds and uh, 401ks and uh, mutual funds may, the kinds of funds that people who are just the ordinary man on the street, the school teacher, the plumber, might have a little money in, in, a, in a stock fund of some kind, a little investment against a rainy day. Um, they might have a pension fund, their union pension fund, and they buy and sell stock all the time, and it's very, very hard to tease out one particular company. But yes, of course, if they can do it, they should say something and say they don't want to hold Monsanto stock in any form. A hundred-year-old company, they've been making chemicals, PCBs, dioxin, Agent Orange, 2,4-D, and more recently, uh, Roundup, uh, and Roundup Ready soybeans, so they can put even more Roundup onto the ground and poison the earth and us who eat that food. They greatly intimidate um, small farmers and, and actually sue farmers if the wind brings their patented seeds onto their crops. Um, the GMOs have barely been tested. To the extent they are, the only test that the FDA has listened to is Monsanto's own tests. They've ignored the uh, independent scientists, and in fact, Monsanto has done everything they can to shut down every legitimate study. One of the things that have occurred is that uh, in the early 90s, when GMOs were going to be passed or not passed, the FDA was considering it. And what happened is that uh, Monsanto got, in, uh, got involved with its public policy makers and uh, basically convinced the uh, presidential administrations of the time to hire Monsanto employees to run the FDA uh, at the time to over oversee the approval and uh, a regulation of uh, GMOs. Uh, in fact, it, that what exactly occurred is the lack there of regulation of GMOs uh, because they claim there's no difference between regular food and GMO food. But if there's no difference, then why are they allowed patents? It doesn't make any sense. They are inherently different. I